Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Saturday, August 29th, and we are in the studio with Jay Fernandez.
one's called Read My Mind. No conversation and everything is fine. I guess the numbers, not any other. Howdy Tree Live in the studio with Jay Fernandez. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. good. Yeah? Loading wasn't too early? Not that bad? No, no. It was great. Good. Good, good, good. So uh, you guys just got off the road recently, right? You're chilling in Chicago for a few days now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we went on tour. Uh, it was a short one with uh, Ezra Furman. Nice. Ezra's great. Yeah, it was really good. It was a fun group to tour with. Yeah. yeah, they were super, super nice guys. Yeah. You guys didn't run any problems. We got on the West Coast at all with those forest fires. I've heard of bands having to reroute hundreds of miles from that. Um, we didn't go out west. We went east and, like, Midwest. Nice. Do like, New York and all those? Yeah, yeah. Any favorite cities to tour in? Um, I like Philly. Um, I really like going going to Burlington, Vermont. <laughs> Middle of uh, nowhere. Yeah, I mean it's it's just a nice, pleasant town. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty easy to get around, and everyone there is like super friendly. 
East Coast thing. Any of you guys have favorite cities you like to visit on the road? We played a super fun show in Baltimore. It was like at this venue, The Crown, and there was two stages and two separate rooms, and it was like alternating, and there were seven bands, and everyone was really good, and it was just like a huge party. Those are fun shows when you have a few different rooms and yeah, people are bouncing it around. It like surprisingly worked really well. Yeah, for sure. How about you guys? Favorite cities? I like uh, Toronto. Yeah. Toronto's pretty cool. Me too. That's how, that's how that felt. Uh, you walk down one street and every single building had a different show going on. That's one of my favorite festivals is North by Northeast in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Similar to South by, but a little smaller, a little more manageable. It's definitely a fun one. Well, cool, guys. Let's, uh, let's hear a few more, yeah?
This one's called Image. You ready? One, two, three, four. For, uh, thanks for playing that tune, Souvenirs, for the first time live for us. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. And you guys uh, ever get memorable, memorable souvenirs or give memorable souvenirs? Anything stand out? Um, from, like, our like, touring? or what? I don't know, or just a vacation. <laughs> I always remember I would get mad if someone brought me back, like, seashells or something. Like, what am I? You went to the beach. Maybe these mean something to you, but what am I going to do with seashells? I, don't know. I feel like they could go in the bathroom, like in a in a, a cup bowl, like on the toilet. Maybe yeah. maybe <laughs> I could do that. I'll pull them out of my closet and yeah. put the seashells in the bathroom. Um, when we were in Canada, I got I got some like maple syrup, which is probably like a super touristy thing there. Did you like a good you one? Bought it at a gas station, right? Yeah, yeah. I bought it at the duty free <laughs> shop at the the border. I actually did the same thing in New Orleans. I just brought back hot sauce from a gas station. Yeah, here you go. Some hot sauce. Great. From like Taco Bell or something. Yeah. Well, it was actually Louisiana hot sauce, which is everywhere anyways. Yeah. So it's probably a stupid thing to we, do. but um, We do, every time we go through the border, I make it a point to stop at the duty free shop to pick up, to like stock up on liquor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we love Canada. It's so cheap. Mm hmm. And. I try to I try to plan a trip to Canada like twice a year to stock up on stuff. And aren't there can't you only buy beer in Canada at the beer store? 
which is run by the government, I think, is how it works. Okay, like it's literally I, called the beer store. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think we've ever bought beer there. You've never bought a beer in Canada? I mean, not for, not to take home or anything. Right, all right. So I got to ask, um, you now officially have my favorite Instagram ever, uh, which is pictures of gloves found on the street. What do you look for? when you're looking for a glove on the street? Like, what makes the perfect glove photo? It's got to be a glove. Yeah, that's really Number the one. only... Number mm-hmm. one? Yeah, it does, all non-gloves just automatically don't make the cut. Right, like, you wouldn't take a picture of a hat or pants you find on the street. Not. I find, just a glove. I find a lot of other things that I wish that I could take a photo of, but then it would just... Ruin them. Out. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, there's a strict criteria that I have to go by, and... Um, do you have like an ultimate glove scenario? Like, do you have a golden glove that you're looking for? Like the perfect glove picture? I mean, anything crime related, I feel like would be great, but I, w- I, <laughs> I, um, I haven't run into that yet. I mean, maybe I have, I just didn't know. Um, I found like some like, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to go into it actually. Okay. It's pretty dark. I found some pretty dark gloves. Some dark, but, um, maybe bloody. Yeah. Something. Children's gloves. <sighs> yeah, just like weird, weird stuff. But I, um, I would like to start a new Instagram with more life-related things. Uh-huh. Um, just for. I don't know, normal human stuff. Non-glove-related issues. Right. Like if I ever have a family and have like a kid or something i'm not gonna like not take a photo of the kid that i have right because it doesn't fall under the glove criteria <laughs> so oh, this is good this is good now my favorite uh, audio tree interview thank you very much for the glove talk this is great uh jay fernandez let's hear one more tune guys sure pretty much the
All right. And that was Jay Fernandez and another Audio Tree live session. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, thank you for having us. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll see you guys again soon, and uh, good luck on the road again in October. All right, thanks. Cheers, guys. Thank you.